There is no shortage of videos on AI agents out there, but a lot of them are filled with fluff, are over an hour long, and overall not the best for beginners. Which is why in this video, I'm gonna condense everything you need to know to build AI agents into the shortest video possible. So that you can go from being a complete beginner to having your first AI agent built as soon as today. Let's start by checking out what we're gonna build. So the agent that we'll be building is this task management agent that we can communicate via Telegram. Now, if you're anything like me, I am hopeless at keeping on top of my to-do list. I often forget tasks that I need to do. And also when I actually complete the tasks, I always forget to go back in the system and update them. So to help me stay on top of this, every morning, this task management agent is going to send me a message on Telegram with all the open tasks that I currently have. Anytime throughout the day, I can also simply just send the word tasks to my agent. My agent's then going to run, check Notion, and send me back all of my current task status. I can simply then in plain language, send off instructions to my agent to update tasks for me. So here I've asked it to mark one task as done and change the due date for another task. And my agent can also create completely new tasks in my task database. This is perfect for when I'm on the go. So I'll never forget what tasks I need to work on. All right, let's build out this AI agent, search for Telegram and select on message. To connect our Telegram trigger, we need to create new credential. And then to get our Telegram, Telegram access token. We need to head over to Telegram. Then in your Telegram app, you want to search for the user at botfather. Make sure it's spelled exactly like this. And then we send the message forward slash new bot. We need to give our bot a name as well as a username. Then Botfather will give us a link where we can chat with our new agent and give us the access token. Copy the access token and paste it here into N8N and hit save. Now we need to test that the connection is working. Hit execute step and over in Telegram message that new bot, just hit start. And we can see here that in N8N that start message was found. I'm gonna test again and just type in here, hi there. And we can see that that message has come in. Next, we wanna add a set fields node or an edit fields node. I'm gonna select manual mapping. I'm going to drag in that text message coming from Telegram and just change the key to message. Execute the step and we see now we have the message. And next up, let's add our AI agent. And for the source for the prompt, I'm going to change this to define below. And I'm simply going to drag in the message field that we just created. And next up, we need to give our AI agent AI model. So I'm going to select the chat model. I'm a really big fan of Anthropic, but you can choose whatever model you like. I've already got my Anthropic account connected, but otherwise you just need to add a connection with your API key and select your model. Next up, we're going to add some memory to our agent. I'm just going to select here, simple memory. This is going to allow our agent to have back and forth conversations with us on Telegram. Now for the session ID, we're again going to change this to define below. The key, I'm just going to put in something like task agent and change the context window to 20 in case we have some longer conversations. With that set up, we can actually go ahead and execute our agent. Remember, this is just answering to the message, hi there. And we can see the agent. Hello, it's nice to meet you. How are you doing today? So this is just a generic AI response at the moment, but let's make sure we can send this response to Telegram. So I'm just going to add in Telegram, send a text message, and we've got the same credential that we set up earlier. It's just to send a message for the chat ID. We can go for the Telegram trigger and under the from ID, we can drop that in there. And for the text, I'm just going to drop in the reply of our agent. And under the additional settings, I'm just going to go append N8N attribution and turn that one off. And let's execute the step. And over in Telegram, we can see that AI replies come in. Hello, it's nice to meet you. How are you doing today? Now, I'm obviously moving pretty fast here to cover everything without wasting your time. But over on our website, I've prepared a full written tutorial with every step broken down in detail, plus all the prompts you'll need. And if you just want the shortcut, I'm also giving you the complete N8N workflow template that you can import with just one click. Both are completely free. Link is in the description. So now we have a very basic agent that we can have a conversation with on Telegram, but let's actually turn this into our task agent by giving it access to our Notion. So let's go ahead and add a tool. I'm just going to search for Notion tool. Now my Notion's already connected. If yours isn't yet, just follow the instructions here under this link. The first thing I'm going to do is rename this tool. It's going to be called get tasks. I'm going to change the resource from page to database page. And now from the list of databases, I'm going to search for my task tasks database and we can select that one and instead of the operation being create i'm going to change this to get many so this is going to search my tasks table we can set a limit here i think 50 is fine and now let's add some filters i'm going to select build manually all filters so that all filters need to match i can add the first condition which is going to be where the assigned to 
contains, and I'm going to select my name from the list of our Notion users, and I want the status, so the task status, to be equal to open. So it's only giving me my open tasks and not telling me about already completed tasks. We can execute this step to test that it's working and we can see we're successfully able to pull in the tasks from our Notion database. Now we need to give our agents two more tools. First of all, the ability to update tasks. I'm just going to actually copy this other Notion tool, hook it up to our agent and we can click into here. I'm going to change the name of this one to update a task. And now we'll keep the same Notion connection. It's going to be a database page, but this time the operation is going to be update. And now we need to tell the agent what page should it update. In a second, we're going to let the AI define this parameter. But first of all, what we're going to do is a little hack. I'm going to go back to my get task that just ran, and I'm going to copy the ID of one of my tasks. We'll go back into our update a task step and paste in that ID. Here we're going to tell the agent what properties it can update. And now because I've given a ID of a database page that actually exists in my Notion, we're able to see all of the different properties. So first of all, we want it to update a status. And we can see here, this can either be backlog open or done. I don't want to select one, but I rather I want my agent to decide. And so I'm going to change this to expression and paste in the following, which again, you'll find in the uh, link in the description in the fully written tutorial. So here we're just telling this from AI key basically tells the agent, hey, you can decide this field. This is a status field and it can either be backlog open or done. The next thing we want our agent to be able to update in this task is is the due date. So I'm just going to select due date. And now I'm going to untick include time because our due dates are only just the dates in Notion. And for the date thing, instead of picking something hard coded here, I'm going to click on these little sparkles. And basically the agent is going to be determining this date. We're going to add a description and I'll paste this in, which will also be available. This will tell the agent exactly what format the date needs to be in. And for the time zone, I'm going to select Europe Berlin, which is where we're based. And that is it. I don't want the agent to change the title of the task. I just want to be able to say, hey, market is done or change the due date. Now, all I'm going to do here at the top is instead of having an ID fixed so that the same page always gets updated, I'm going to also let the model define this parameter. And let's repeat that process for now creating a new task. So I've duplicated the tool. I will go and connect this one up. We're going to rename this tool to create a task, change the operation to create. Now from the list of items, again, I can select my tasks database, the title of the task that will be created. I'm going to let the agent decide. Now let's add the properties of the task. So first of all, the assigned to this one is actually going to be hard coded because it's my personal agent. So it's always going to assign the task to me. We'll also set the due date and the same settings, turn off, include time, let the agent decide the date. And under the description, we're going to give the agent some instructions in terms of how it should use this field. So only set this field if I specify or mention a date for when it is due. If you are going to set a date, use this format. Again, here we'll change this to Europe Berlin. The next property we're going to let our agent set will be the status of the task. Again, because this one is a single select, I need to change this to expression and paste in this from AI formula, which tells it that either the status is going to be open if I specify a date or otherwise it should set it to backlog. All right, so our agent is looking pretty good here with its three tools to manage our Notion tasks. But in order to be able to use this properly, we have to teach the agent how it can use each of these tools. So back inside our AI agent settings, I'm going to add an option and select system message. And you can see by default, it just says you are a helpful assistant. That is not enough context for this agent to manage my task database. So I'm going to change this to expression so we can see this a little bit better. And I'm going to paste in this very long and detailed system prompt. So here you can see you're a personal task management agent that helps the user stay on top of their Notion task list via Telegram. We specify the role, what tools they have access to. We give the current context. And here we're putting in what the current date is. So if I say, hey, give me a task for tomorrow, we'll know exactly what date to set. And then we clearly lay out each of its workflow. So how can it fetch open tasks? How can it update tasks? And how can it create new tasks? This full prompt is going to be available in that tutorial on our website. Just click the link in the description below. And we are done. All we have left to do is hit save. Now our agent is pretty much ready to go here. Whenever we message it on Telegram, it will be able to do whatever we asked it in our Notion database. But so that it's messaging us proactively every single morning, I'm going to add another trigger. And this time is going to be a schedule trigger. And I'm going to set up this schedule to run once a day at 8 a.m. And we can execute this step 
to test it out. I'm going to move our trigger over to the front. So now we need to connect our schedule rather than connecting it directly to the agent. I'm going to duplicate this edit fields node, hook this one up to our schedule. And you can see here, this one is the message right now. It's taking it from the telegram, which we won't have access to. So here I'm actually going to hard code a message and say, get my open tasks. This is what it's going to be sent every single morning. And then we just need to connect that one up to our agent. Now, all that's left to do is turn on and activate our AI agent. And now every morning at 8 a.m., we'll receive our to-do list and we can just message our agent whenever we have a new task that comes up. Now, this was just one use case for an AI agent, but recently I made this video where I went over eight different use cases for OpenAI's new ChatGBT agent mode. Now, these agents are super easy to set up since they're only a prompt away. And on top of that, in the description of that video, I give you all the prompts that you'd need to set them up for yourself. So if you wanna automate anything from competitor analysis to lead research to presentation building, all super simply. I'll see you in the next one.